Hi there, it's me, Lavanya. We are continuing our thought process on Unmai Velakkam. The next verse is verse number 37. We are still in the discussion of the cosmic dance and the cosmic dancer. So verse number 37 also resonates the same concept. Monanda Mamunivar Mummalatte Mosithu Tan Andamana Idatte Tangi Yidum Anandam Kundu Arunda Nindradal Kanum Arul Murthia Konda Tir Ambalatan Kuth. Actually, if you look at it, we have been discussing about the cosmic dance and cosmic dancer in various forms and uh, characteristics and the attributes. How should we visualize him? How are we seeing right now and how should we be seeing him? And also what is the objective of his dance? We have been discussing about all those. Now the next question we can we may have is has anyone witnessed this dance? Can we witness this dance? And today's verse is actually talking about that particular concept and saying yes you can also witness that dance it gives us the confidence it gives it builds us the confidence and it motivates us to go into a little bit deeper sadhana when it comes to the uh, shiva worship so that we will also be able to witness the cosmic dance let's look at the meaning of this particular verse monanda ma munivar there is a nice saying over here saying Ma Munivar. Munivar means someone who has cut down the roots of every single attachment. It can be people related, it can be physical, whatever we are seeing right now like car, dress, house, uh, money, work, whatever. The attachment is all, ha uh, all the attachments have, have been uprooted totally thrown off totally washed out those kind of souls are called as ma munivar ma munivar means the saints which uh, those saints who have achieved or attained the greatness so how do they achieve this where did they achieve how do we know that they have achieved it there are two qualifying conditions that is being discussed for that the first one is mum malattai mosithal and tan andamana idam there are two things that they are talking about let me talk about those when you are follow, focusing on the three uh, major faults that we are having as of today one is maya the other one is karma and the third one is our arnavam arnavam is ignorance like what we were talking about so there are three things in this world which is tying us back to this rebirth concept. One is Maya, which is attachment towards the early uh, earthly pleasures, worldly pleasures. The second one is Karma, which is either happiness or sadness that we have to go through. And the third one is ignorance. So the Arnava, Kanma, Maya, these three must be totally taken away from us. That is what they call it as Mosital. Mosital simply means totally washing it out, uprooting so that it will never blossom again, once again. So that is what we call it as Mosital. And also leaving away what we call as every time when we speak up, we always talk about I, mine, we and we always keep uh, focusing on our own self this selfless attitude is important and that is what they call it as tan andam ana idam tan means whatever whenever we say we mine i whenever we say i whenever i say mine basically what happens is we already have that attachment and when this attachment is there we are still lay, uh, staying at the soul level we are not going ahead of that so whenever you talk about the saint the great saints, the saints that have achieved the greatness, they have already got themselves cleared from the three, uh, the three falls, which is called as Arnava, Kanmam, and Maya, Maya, and also they have been, uh, they have been leading a selfless life. Now, when you talk without any attachment, basically that is the most important one. 
for these kind of souls lord shiva will show the cosmic dance just in front of their eyes you see, see how interesting it is can we witness his dance the answer is yes we can when can we witness his dance when we lead a selfless life when we lead an attachment less life and when we are away from this arnavam kanmam and kama and maya when we are away from that we will surely be able to witness it with this naked eye and that is what the song today the verse today mentions about which is guru is actually saying to the disciple some of them in this world can witness the dance even with their naked eyes directly in front of them and lord shiva will be performing the dance in front of them so we need to witness that we need to set this longing and we need to work towards this witnessing this dance that is very very important and that is what which is going to uplift our soul and uh, it's going to help in our spiritual journey so with that verse number 37 comes to an end i'll come back again with the next verse very soon until then bye bye